Hello Pisces and welcome to your daily reading. My name is Tiffany from Tiffany's Terology and I'll be guiding you through this reading today. I wanted to just check in. How are you guys feeling? Drop me a comment below. The energies that we're feeling right now are pretty intense and I have been feeling all over the place dealing with family issues, family drama, feeling triggered, all the things, right Pisces? So how are you feeling right now? Let me know. We're going to dive into a message that you need to hear today and we'll pull our 10 card spread like normal. For those of you who are new here, welcome. You will see timestamps below. Uh, the sun card wanted to pop out there. That's beautiful. Uh, timestamps below for you if you want to kind of move around. I typically do tarot at the beginning. I will do oracle at the end. Sometimes we switch it up, but for the most part, in case you want to move around. So spirit guides, angels, ancestors... For my Pisces Collective, if you could drop in and allow me to read messages for them that they need to hear for today. We're going to arrange this to where we can just pull the cards right off the top for you today, Pisces. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors. All right, so current situation, <laughs> justice. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a lot of us are still feeling that energy from the lunar eclipse in Libra, dealing with uh, situations where there is justice being served, karmic justice, or a Libra might be significant to you. Two of swords for your challenge. Four of pentacles for your strength. Seven of cups for your area of focus. The tower for your near future. Oh my gosh. Recent past, we have the Emperor. Advice, strength. Your environment, we have the Eight of Swords. Your hopes and fears are the Eight of Pentacles, and your potential outcome is the Eight of Cups. Pisces, oh my gosh, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card. So, I'm already knowing, and I'm covering up their little booties here, so sorry about how my fingers are placed, but... There is a calling on your life to do more, be more, ascend higher, to really get to a new place in your life. And in order for you to do this, you must answer the call of your soul. A lot of us are coming to a place where we can no longer hide how we're feeling. We can no longer, you know, I want to say we can no longer get out of our, get out of our own way. Am I saying that right? No. Yes. Yes. No, no, we can no longer be in our own way. <laughs> so there's there's a time that's being called for you right now to really step out of your comfort zone, to rise to the occasion that spirit is calling you to. And underneath that, we have the Knight of Wands. So it's like there's this action that you need to take, Pisces, to really move forward. I'm actually going to increase the light behind me, Pisces. This card is looking a little dark. I want you guys to be able to see very clearly. So give me one sec. Okay, that's a lot better. Sorry about that, Pisces. So with the Knight of Wands, there's this swift action, this swift movement. Make sure, though, that whenever you make these changes in your life, Pisces, that you're not doing things so quickly, that you're not taking the proper time to make decisions and that you're thinking things through clearly. We are in a Mercury retrograde right now, and so there's this need for you to really pay attention to how you're feeling swayed, pulled, um, in which direction your life is going, but there is a call on your life to get moving quickly and to make the necessary changes. Wow, I love that so much. All right, so your first card here <laughs> for your current situation is justice. There is a situation that you've been in with this emperor card here. So this could be an Aries, um, a person of authority, a boss, family member, masculine figure in your life doesn't have to be a man but could hold like a masculine role a, a teacher a trainer someone who's kind of been in authority of you comes up in the recent past where there needs to be more balance and justice restored to the situation you may have been taken advantage of you may have um in some ways felt a little bit disillusioned that word came up for me yesterday i too am dealing with an emperor so that makes uh, a lot of sense here that these cards would pop out this way i'm dealing with the same energies as used pisces but if you've been feeling a sense of disillusionment in your life neptune i believe is 
conjunct Mars right now. And so there might be this like, whoa, I had no idea that this person or this situation, this place of residence or work or, you know, whatever the case is in your life, I had no idea that I was putting up all this work and doing all these things for these situations that we're not giving back in return. But now that we're in the eight year, 2024 adds up to eight, there is karmic justice being restored in your life, Pisces. But your challenges, even though you know that there needs to be a rectification of justice, of change in your life, you're having a little bit of a difficult time moving forward, uh, possibly feeling like I don't know when is the right time to move forward. I don't know if I should move forward. I don't know how I can move forward. And I'm seeing that a lot here with your environment, with the Eight of Swords, you, you're you feeling a little bit trapped, stuck, at a standstill, but I know that you're going to get through it because your potential outcome is the Eight of Cups and you do move out of this energy, I believe, because that tower moment comes. So how I'm looking at this Two of Swords is we often have a pathway that we need to take, right? We, we need to take this pathway to guide us to a new place in our life where there's new adventures, new horizons, new action, um, new just it's so hard to put this into words, but just like a new vantage point, a new reality even for some of you. And so you know you want to do it. I see you looking and eyeing this situation, but honestly feeling a little bit perplexed as to how to move forward. But Spirit says there is a time for decisive action that needs to be taken. And for some of you, it needs to be taken pretty quickly. Not saying to rush or to, you know, again, bulldoze your way through this situation, but you have to come out of this period of feeling this stuck energy. I want you to be able to trust yourself. I will definitely clarify this card and see what spirit has to say about it, but I want you to be able to move forward with that decision and feel good about the decision that you're making. So spirit, tell us a little bit about this two of swords. Why are we struggling to make this decision? What's holding us back? What's giving us grief? Uh, for some of you, I don't see the devil card out here, but it might be a situation where you're actually tied. Uh, yeah. For a lot of you, there's financial ties here. So it's like if you make this decision, you're worried about whether or not you are going to receive what it is that you're owed. Um, some of you are not trusting the process because you see there's the scales here like we had in our justice card. Right. So you have this this justice that needs to come to the situation. But some of you are trying to rely on your own kind of abilities to make things happen where you really need to trust the universe. You need to trust spirit at this time to really clarify how to move forward. There will be the proper give and take. You just need to make the decision to choose yourself first. The reciprocation of how you've lived and worked and been around these people, it's been pretty toxic. So I just want you to understand that what you're going through, it's a lesson that you've had to kind of really work your way through. But that tower moment that's coming up in the, in the near future, it's going to change everything for you. Um, so then we have here for our strengths, the four of pentacles. So for a lot of you, you know who you are. The Four of Pentacles is a very stable, a very grounded card. You have amassed kind of a safety net. A lot of you kind of like have what you need. You maybe don't have everything that you want, but you have what you need to get by right now. You have everything that you need to really just like live and survive and be okay. There is this desire though for you to have more here with your hopes and wishes for this Eight of Pentacles, right? So where you're staying in a situation, your strength is, I'm, I'm stable. I'm doing well. Maybe that job is paying you right. Maybe that business partnership, may, maybe it's not the best, but you're still making the money that you need to make. Or if this is about a relationship, you're like, eh, it's not the best relationship. It's not the worst relationship. I'm just not receiving what I need from it. But again, with that justice card, you're being called to actually go to that higher calling to be in that situation that is more fitting for you in the long run. And so there's just this need for you to transition out of this. Well, everything's looking okay and actually go after something that is actually going to give you the desires of your heart. 
this card gives me major vibes of like it's not too hot it's not too cold it's kind of right in the middle and I'm just sitting here because it's comfortable and I don't think that in life a lot of the decisions that we make are comfortable so you're in a place where you need to switch things up because you are being taken advantage of or in a situation whoa <laughs> okay we got two got two cards there okay we're gonna we're gonna dive into that we're gonna dive into that okay all right your area of focus <laughs> sorry guys you have the seven of clubs so what decision are you having a difficult time making what situation in your life kind of back to this justice and this two of swords is making you feel like i don't know exactly what i want to do there is a need to really clarify your desires be very specific with your manifestations about what you want next you have to cut out the things that you don't necessarily need. You need to focus your energy. When we receive the seven of cups in the area of focus, it can allude to the fact that we have a little bit of confusion or uncertainty about what we want. There might be a plethora of options, which is beautiful to have that, but can make it difficult for you to actually find the ability to move forward because you're stuck with all these ideas of what if, what if, what if, what if. But I feel spirit saying, when you make the decision to, to walk in a certain direction, whatever that direction ends up being, once you walk in that direction, you will then start to see, okay, I can do this next. And so I don't want you to feel rushed or pressured to make those decisions, like we keep saying, but you need to actually focus. Get out of this mentality that everything is iry and everything is okay. No, there's some decisions that need to be made to get you out of this current perplexing situation or situations for some of you. For myself personally, I like to share personal anecdotes with you guys. I'm dealing with a lot at work where I feel like there needs to be some changes in that part of my life. And I'm also dealing with a lot of issues within my family structure and also a business partnership. So there's three areas for me where there is this karmic justice that is coming in. And I know for you as well, you might be dealing with a myriad of different issues and situations and your finances are kind of caught up in it. And you know, you need to move, but you don't know when to move. That's the energy I'm getting from here. But I do believe that when this tower comes in the near future, and we will clarify this card, there is going to be clarity. There's going to be so much clarity as to what to do next. Because a lot of the times when we sit in this mode of this two of swords and we don't know what to do, we don't make the decision, eclipses will happen. Faded events will happen. And we end up actually deciding to make the move because we're kind of in a way like forced, if you want to think of it as like a, as a faded situation where you don't really have a lot of control. You have to just go with it. So this, um, tower card could definitely be alluding to the eclipse that we're having April 8th. That is this coming Monday in Aries for my Pisces rising. That's going to be in your second house. This is your house of self-worth, your house of kind of the finances that you work hard for. There's going to be a major glow up in a lot of Pisces finances once they make this transition or this move because there is a situation like that Six of Pentacles was showing us that's holding you back, especially in areas of equal give and take, finances, duality, right, in your life that's just not up to par. And with that judgment card being here and this tower card being here, this is a major arcana. This is like from the universe, there shall come change. Let's clarify this tower. Spirit, what can we know about this tower? I don't want you to be afraid of towers because towers, honestly, they can, ooh, they can help you <laughs> because uh, sometimes when the wheels won't turn, that tower comes and it's like, well, now the wheels are completely blown up and we got to go. Ace of Cups, a tower with the Ace of Cups. I, I couldn't ask for a better tower. There is a lot of joy, emotional freedom, emotional, ha like just being happy. A gift from the universe because these things will fall apart. Because these situations will fall apart. King of Pentacles. You will probably be able to walk into a place of more security, stability than you've ever known because of this tower. 
You may also be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. And that might be someone that you're having to let go of during this situation. But there is stability that comes after this tower because you chose you. Your cup was filled first. Anything else about this tower we can know, Spirit? Whoa. I felt the energy of this card. Okay. So... But with all towers, there comes this need for you to honestly just understand that they are emotional. So the end result is going to be, you know, this wish fulfillment, this king of pentacles. But in the moment, you might feel a little bit stressed out about how things are going. So there's this need for you to really take some time to yourself, to rest, to recuperate, to pray, to meditate, to get back into the physical body and understand that things that fall away faded situations that fall away are for your best and highest good Pisces situations that have been keeping you up at night they will fall away as well you don't have to worry about that okay so now after we get through this tower so again I feel like we're alluding to the eclipse actually I'm gonna move all these cards I'm a little more centered for you so after we get through this eclipse, because we are in like the eclipse portal is what we call it in the spiritual community where we're between eclipses. We had an eclipse in Libra on the 25th of March, and now we're having the next eclipse in Aries on the April 8th. So in your recent past, you were dealing with this emperor, this boss, this authority figure, this masculine energy, this fiery person that wanted to potentially take, 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 and take. And so you're like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I don't want to be associated with the situation. This is not serving me in any way, shape, or form. And so because of that recent pass, this tower comes in to break up the situation. This tower comes in to clear the air, to level out the playing field, and you begin to move away from this energy over the next couple of weeks. The eclipse energies, we can feel upwards of six months later. So you might even be feeling this slow detachment over the next six months. But what I have heard a lot of astrologers say is that this eclipse that we're having now, compared to the one we had a couple weeks ago, is going to be a more immediate response the lunar eclipse, it was a little slower, a little softer, and we didn't necessarily feel the energy like right then and there. But this current eclipse is going to be a little bit more about you asserting who you are. Aries is about the physical body, about you as a person, as the individual, whereas that a Libra eclipse was about balancing the scale. So that's why I still feel like you're, you're feeling some of that energy from the last eclipse, but there is a lot of energy going into this new eclipse where there will be a breaking away of old outdated situations with these people, institutions, bosses, authority figures, toxic partners, um, masculines in your life. So for some of you, this could even be a father, a brother, an uncle, someone like that, where there is this masculine energy in your life that you have to break away from. With your advice, I thought it was just the strength card, but underneath it was the Ace of Wands. And so I love this because for my collective readings and for my Pisces readings, we have been talking a lot about this Ace of Wands, about this clarity that is going to come into your life, this idea, this understanding, this illumination of what has been hidden for a while. And then as you understand what it is that you need to do, it doesn't make it necessarily easy to walk away or walk into this new direction. Again, you're walking. We're, we'll get there, but you're walking. But I feel like Spirit is saying, I'm going to show you the pathway forward, even though that little city there is really distant and it's going to take you some time to get there. But I'm going to show you the pathway forward and I'm also going to show you the truth of the people and the situations in your life that are holding you back. There's going to be a bright light, an illumination, clarity, whatever you want to say, a download that you receive. And after you receive this download, you will be able to then understand, okay, I've got to take my life, my purpose, my journey very seriously. 
and I've got to move in a new direction in a way that gives me more prosperity, freedom, peace, joy, fun, whatever it is that you've been lacking, love, respect, you had to find the strength within yourself to move forward. And by golly, I believe that you're gonna. And you're gonna do it with also the help of others. A lot of us in this Pluto and Aquarius uh, energy are working alongside other community members, people dealing with the same things as us. Social media has really been my safe space. For a lot of people, I know social media can be quite toxic. So everybody has to do what works for them. But for me, social media has helped me to amass friends, colleagues, business partners. Like it has been beautiful. And it's also helped me to build a beautiful community that I'm in the process of building right now. If you guys want to get connected with me outside of the YouTube space, I usually mention this at the beginning of the video, but you can check the description box for my Instagram where you'll see a little bit more like one-on-one. -on -one. We chat, we talk, we post, um, and it's a little bit more regular than maybe YouTube might be. And just, you know, in shorter increments, we can only post videos for a minute and 30. So get connected with community and also understand that you don't have to do this alone. One of the things that Spirit just told me is there's strength in numbers. I know that she is alone in this picture and a lot of this journey is going to be solo. You're going to have to walk the line and do what you got to do by yourself. But there is this beauty in, in talking to other people, going to therapy if you need it, getting outside, uh, being with your animals. Like, of course, this is a lion here, but if you have a dog or a cat and you can kind of get away I would highly encourage that just so that you can find the strength to pursue what needs to be pursued in your life. All right. And then we have here for your environment, the Eight of Swords. So this Eight of Swords and Two of Swords energy, although they do not mean the same thing, they're giving off the same vibe. This Eight of Swords is telling me that you feel in a lot of ways stuck or trapped. This card has been following a lot of my Pisces readings the last couple of months. And I believe this is because as much as you've tried to make the decisions, there is something within this connection that you have. Uh, where for a lot of you, it is financial that is making it difficult to leave. For others of you, this could be like, well, we have children together. We own a home together. We have pets together. We have a business together. Whatever the case is, there is a tie that binds. And so this eclipse in Aries is about to break that apart. You see these two people having to go their own way. You can go your own way. That song comes to mind, right? I don't know who sings it, but I, I'm clear audience. So sometimes I hear songs like that when I say certain words. So it's just like, it's time for you to really see who you are, to boss up, to understand that your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, they are here to help you see the way forward. You have this calling on your life. You have this deeply rooted desire to change and to move. And I know you feel it, Pisces. I know you do. But there's something holding you back. And let's see, Spirit, what is holding Pisces back? What's making them feel stuck or like they just can't? Okay, three of cups in reverse. And yeah, the ten of cups. Okay, so uh, that makes me sad, but I get it. This was once a situation that really made you happy, that made you feel good. It was possibly at one point in time, a wish fulfillment. I know that won't be the case for all of you, but the three of cups in the upright position is someone who's with friends, having fun. Things were going well. This could have been a community that you're part of, a job where your coworkers and your, you know, your colleagues were used to get along. And all of a sudden it's like, no, there was a, there was a moment where you were taken advantage of, or you saw the light, you saw the truth of people. Maybe people started talking bad about you, whatever the case is. And also with the 10 of cups, we have to think about family. So this doesn't necessarily have to be like mom, dad brother sister but it could it could also be husband children there is this tie also I see the home in the back and I know that a couple of readings ago for Pisces there was a home that was involved for a lot of you where there was this either job or this boss or this um 
this physical home that was holding you back from being able to move forward with your life. And so what it is, is there needs to almost be this direct correlation from spirit, from God, a divine intervention that I believe is coming in with that ace of swords here that's going to help you to cut these ties. But I understand, though, that the reason why it might be hard, again, we're clarifying this Eight of Swords, like, why is it so difficult to move away? It's because this is something that really has meant a lot to you and meant a lot to you for a really long time. So now you're in this situation where you don't necessarily know what to do, but you have to trust where you're being led. Trust how you're feeling too. Like if you're no longer feeling this three of cups energy and all of a sudden you're feeling like that, trust that energy, okay? Trust that energy. All right. And then we have for the hopes and fears, you're really just working on yourself, Pisces. You are trying to become very, very well studied, well learned. A person who is no longer the student, but the teacher. You're trying to get your business off the ground. You're trying to make your pentacles, you know, come alive. You're working on also your body, your mental capacity, your mental health. You're really just trying to make things better. And each and every day, it's like this pentacle that was on paper and maybe these pentacles that were in her mind are becoming actual pentacle on this. Uh, it looks like a laptop or a notepad. So you're putting yourself out there for you to grow your pentacles and to become bigger, get closer to that 10 of pentacles, that legacy that you want to leave behind. That family unit that makes a lot more sense, that business partnership or that business that you have where you feel more fulfilled in, in what you do on a daily basis. So I just see you Pisces being very focused on you, focused on what you need to do to get yourself out of these sticky situations. But remember, justice is here. It's going to be okay. This situation with this emperor is going to pass. This tower is going to come and you're going to have to move forward. But with the clarity in mind of making decisions, having to understand that one, what once made you happy, it's got to go. As much as it sucks, it's got to go. Eight of Cups. I believe in the next couple of weeks, you see this is like an eclipse moon. It looks like to me. Sun and moon look like they're there. You are moving forward. Even though the joy in those cups was there. At one point in time. But you said, but it's not my nine of cups. It's not my wish fulfillment. This is not what I deserve. This is not what gives me the most joy. And what you have to do when you realize that and you're understanding. I was talking to my friend the other day about how Pisces is just really seeing patterns a lot quicker. You see the patterns in these relationships. A lot of them are mirrors of how you haven't been giving to yourself. So people have been taking from you. And now that you see the pattern and now that you see the situation unfold the way that it is, you said there is better for me. That judgment call energy is here. You're moving towards the light. You're moving to what gives you more joy and you're moving out of situations that no longer give you what you need. As you can see, though, there's mountains around her. This is not going to be just some easy peasy situation. You are going to have to, you know, rough it some of the way. But trusting that this tower moment that came in to shake, I was going to say the S word, to, to shake things up. It was here so that you could find the strength to actually move forward. So for some of you, it's it's not going to be a beautiful tower. Obviously, the Ace of Cups and the King of Pentacles comes out. We know that in the long run, there is beauty in this falling apart. There is beauty in this failure, in this dissolution, in this fight, in this argument, whatever it is, right? In this, uh, I'm putting in my two weeks or you're fired, whatever the case is, right? But you have to believe that in order for you to go forward, the situations holding you back must come to an end. So Spirit, tell us a little bit more about this journey with the Eight of Cups. It's going to be a journey. Like you can see all those mountains in the cards. She's not going to just be walking through, you know, sunflower fields. <laughs> it's going to be a hill to climb. But your story on the other side, Pisces, is so beautiful. 
the magician comes out. You are manifesting this new reality. You know what you desire. You know what you what you want. Seven of Pentacles. One more, please, Spirit. Nine of Swords. Four of Swords back on the bottom of the deck, okay? So, yes, this situation is going to give you a little bit of some sleepless nights. How do I walk away? What do I take with me? How will I have the money to be able to be successful? But I feel this cry in this picture is like, I'm crying because I did it. Not because I can't. I'm crying because I said no more. And then you kind of go home and you're like, oh my God, did I really say I'm not coming back? Did I really just break up with that person? Like, it's that kind of energy of like, there's a release in this cry. Seven of Pentacles, you're going to be looking at how far you've come how long you have left ahead of you, but trust with the seven, the eight of pentacles here, the nine and the 10 of pentacles are to come. Okay. You have to just believe in you. You are the magician. You have all the power that you need within you to create the life that you desire. And through the transition, of this Pisces into Aries season through these eclipse portals, you are rising above the rest. You are seeing yourself who you truly are. You look at those situations where people made you feel less than you go, no, I'm putting myself first. I will no longer allow you to hold all of this over my head to not pay me right, to not treat me right to not put in the same effort as I do. And a lot of you, honestly, this is giving me the energy of I can do bad all by myself. Okay. But remember to rest and to take care of you because that's what's most important. We're going to pull a couple of Oracle and we're going to finish up this reading Pisces, but I know you're going to get through this. And, and again, your spirit guides, whoa, what is going on here? Your spirit guides want you to know that you are so protected at this time. If you've been seeing 444, especially, you are so protected. Yeah. And you just have to believe like that you can't see it yet. Okay. So our first card we have here is direction. Sorry, strength. The second card is direction. She's looking at herself in the mirror. She's seeing the beauty that is about to unfold. She's not quite there yet. But it's it's literally the strength card meets the strength card, right? You have to be strong beyond belief right now. And there has to be a faith within you that almost doesn't make sense, Pisces. That it is and it will work out. Even though there's ties that bind you to this situation, to this person. You have to believe in yourself and stop holding yourself back. Make the decisions that need to be made. Cut the people out that need to be cut out and start the situations that need to be started. There is a beauty in that. And then you had direction. So trust where you're being led. Your spirit guides will talk to you in dreams. They will show you angel numbers. You will be able to meet people at very random, I would say random times. You might receive messages that you weren't expected to receive and you will be guided exactly where you need to be. The direction that your life is taking is being orchestrated in divine timing. And you see how there's nothing blocking her way forward. There's like this path that she's on. Your spirit team is creating the path. All you have to do is walk down it. We're going to pull two more Oracle from the Moonology Manifestation Oracle cards. And we'll wrap it up, Pisces. There we go. Wow. Thank you, spirit. This, this, this card gives my, oh, it gives my heart so much joy. It says, trust that all will be well. If this is something you need to make as like a mantra, Pisces, please do it. Trust that all will be well. Every day 
these situations in my life, no matter how challenging they are, are working for me, not against me. And also, Spirit wants you to see the bigger picture. What is it that you've learned through this process? Did you learn to trust yourself? Did you learn to have faith in the universe? Did you learn what your actual um, significance is? Like if you were to remove yourself from the situation, how much you truly matter? A lot of you are seeing your self-worth. A lot. My phone keeps going off, but it was because that was exactly what you needed to hear. You know now how much you are worth, Pisces. And there's nothing that can hold you back from that reality. You must see the bigger picture. You must see yourself for who you truly are. This is for the full moon of Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter. Expansion, prosperity. It is yours. Good luck, right? You just had to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. And now that you've learned it, and now that you've amassed this knowledge, when this tower comes, understand. Be like, well, Tiffany told me it was coming. <laughs> Even though you probably already feel that a lot's changing. But you will be prepared more so than what we call the normies who don't pay attention to this kind of stuff. You will be prepared for what is to come. You will understand that the great falling away is actually going to be for your best and highest good. All will be well, Pisces. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed this message. Leave me a comment below if this resonated or if you're excited for what is to come. Please check back in if anything crazy pops off during the eclipse. We will be doing an eclipse reading as well in a couple of days. But I'm sending you off with so much love. Wishing you the best yet in your life. And I hope to see you again in, in a couple of days when we do another reading, okay? Love you very much, Pisces. Bye, guys.